It's another kingfisher. It's a brown hooded kingfisher again. I know we saw one this morning and I was saying to you how difficult they always are to put on screen. But here we go. And it's, this is a much better version of the kingfisher because it's in lovely light too. And there's also a bird calling. It's not the kingfisher. Let's have a little listen. I'm going to play a quiz now. So I want to know from you what bird is calling at the moment. That's an easy one. You should all get that very, very, very quickly. Now, I think that this is a female brown hooded kingfisher. There's very little sexual dimorphism between the two but typically the female has sort of got brown coverts on her wings where her shoulder you can't see a bird's shoulder but we'll just use that term loosely would be and the male tends to have black so you can see that it's quite light in color over there and that's really the only difference between the two it's um it's actually quite difficult to tell them apart otherwise and they're fairly common throughout the whole of South Africa. So we're discussing its diet this morning and we're talking about how they eat fish and tadpoles as well as and predominantly insects but sometimes they'll take lizards too. I've never seen a, a kingfisher catching a lizard before well a brown hood kingfisher in particular but that's something definitely on the agenda. Imagine catching a rainbow skink how beautiful that would be to see something like that and be quite nice. I suppose they'd eat chameleons then too. Not great for the chameleon, but what a spectacular sighting that would be. It's one thing seeing southern ground hornbills um, fishing chameleons out of a tree, but to have a kingfisher do that would be something really quite amazing. It's looking, it's staring. I wonder if it's going to go in for the kill. It's looking right down on the ground. See how it keeps bobbing its head every now and then. It's obviously hungry hoping to catch one or two last meals before the sun goes down. Oof. Now, P. Hart, you've said that the bird that was calling was perhaps a wood dove. You got the dove part right, but not a wood dove. Manushk, you've said a Cape turtle dove. Ding, 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 ding. You win the prize. There's no prize, of course, but well done for getting the answer correct. I was just checking to make sure that there was actually somebody watching and I wasn't just talking to myself here, so that's good. Now we need to go underneath this wonderful tunnel that has been created by a bush willow, so we shall go underneath. And the gremlins have been so good this afternoon. They had a stern talking to. Hopefully they don't attack us because I know that this is a gremlin spot, but we'll go out of it very quickly, Megan. I'm going to fly through here.